Collectible Photographic Work, which has won numerous awards and accolades. That's Neville Peterson, who is celebrating his 35-year career in photography with an exhibition at the Centurion Art Gallery on Wednesday, the 18th of February. Neville joins me now in studio to talk about the exhibition and his love for photography. Neville, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. What, what is that language that you use, that you can't use when you're talking to people that a camera gives you? I think it's from the inside, it's the love of, of the work, it's a love of the camera, photography-wise. That's, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. 35 years tells me that at, you know, at some point that you were, you were probably having a, a more intense relationship with your camera than you were having with people. Talk to me, where has this love for photography start? Um, I started in the Air Force in the 70s and uh, after finishing my, my Air Force years we decided to stay on and to do something with, uh, while I'm in the Air Force um, and uh, we I, I, my, uh, some of my friends decided on photography and that's where it all started. So it wasn't a thing from when I was young or something like that, it only started mm. late in my, in my life. I'm looking at some of your images right now as we are conducting this interview and you've got this ability to bring life to things that people might have discarded or in their mind have already had a preconceived idea about a structure. Um, it's amazing to, to walk into these old structures and I can stay there for hours and hours and just look at the oldness, the, the dust, the whatever is available, the, the metal and what have you, and that's what I love about it. And it's just, I think I've got the eye for it at the end of the day, just to, to photograph these structures. Let's talk about that eye, because, you know, I mean, the way you see and, and through your eye, I mean, there's some amazing sp spaces in the, t in the way it's been lit up. But what do you see? What is it about industrial settings that, that fascinates you, that you, as you said, you can spend hours walking around and finding the right moment, the right light, the, the right angle, the right look? I think it's experience, first of all. I mean, 35 years of starting as a press photographer in the 80s. Um, and just to, when I grew up in the East Rand, I grew up with, with minds around me, the structures and what mm. I mean. And from small, I looked at the structures, and I think that's, that's where it started at the end of the day. We're going to have a reflection of your work. Um, yes. Talk to me about the exhibition we'll be experiencing on Wednesday. Um, this. It's a three-part exhibition. The first part is the, my 80s to 90, um, 91, when I was a press photographer. Uh, that's sort of an exhibition on its own. It's quite a big exhibition. And then the in-between stuff, the lands landscape, the, the portraits and stuff like that. And the last part is the industrial stuff. Um, I've been working on, for the last six and a half years, I've been photographing all the gold mines in South Africa. Sure. And that's quite a big part of the last part of, of the exhibition. Talk to me about that shift because you're going, you're going from a press journalist, photographer to the landscape stuff as you mentioned and now you're into industrials. How, is there a shift? Is there an emotional shift? Is there a mental shift? Uh, or is it just no. something that progressively attracted you? Um, for sure. Um, when I finished at my, my 11 years at, uh, as a press photographer, I took a break for a couple of years just to get my mind set and there was some other business and family and what have you. And then... I started again. I never lost the love of photography. Um, I just picked up and I thought, let's do something different. There's so many stuff that's been done in photography, why it's a landscape with portraits and what mm. have you. And I was thinking, let's, let's, let's go for industrial stuff. And, that's and, how and the reaction to that? To the industrial uh, stuff? It's, <laughs> it's a mixed reaction. I don't think a lot of people understand the industrial stuff. They, uh, um, to, I mean, just think of it, photographing a mine. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you're trying to find the beauty yeah, and, in it. and find the beauty of it so yes uh, there's mixed reaction and I think that people are learning um, looking at my exhibitions over the past last years of that industrial is quite amazing very quickly some of the books that has featured your work um, well, I have two books uh, one is my press photography book that came out while I published myself the second one is I'm doing a full part on the, on the gold mines and then all over South Africa, uh, I mean, there's, there's such a lot of um, magazines and stuff that, that yeah. um, 
Okay, so, stuff. so if there's industrial structure, we're going to find you. Yeah, indeed. Okay. <laughs> For hours. <laughs> Neville Peterson, congratulations on uh, having a stellar career in photography. Thank 35 you. years will culminate in an exhibition on the 18th of February at the Centurion Art Gallery on Wednesday. By looking at the pics, I mean, you can see it's absolutely a phenomenal work. Okay, let us know what you think. If you've seen Neville's work, Morning Live at SABC, does get it today. Just what do you think? 35 years, that is a spell and a half. We take an hour. Back up this one.